Come see the moon. Come see the moon. Here, come see the moon. We got it at high power. Looking at the moon. Come see the moon. Come see the moon. Come see the moon. Yeah, come see the moon. Thank you. <gasps> That's awesome. That's the way the moon would look one hour before you landed on it. We're looking at the moon. As I always say, the exterior decorator does lovely work. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That is absolutely incredible. What makes a Dobsonian telescope? It's a retarded. It doesn't track things across the sky for <laughs> oh, photography. Because it's not equatorial. On no. Equatorial planes, you mean? No, it doesn't do that. Yeah. So you can't put a clock drive on it, huh? Well, we could, but we don't do it. This runs on yogurt and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I eat the yogurt and eggs. This is really cool. Wow. Yeah. Oh, much better view. It's only half a So how, how big across are those craters that we're looking at generally, like the bigger ones? All right, I'll show you one that I can give you. Okay. Yeah. The one you're looking at is as big, as big as Texas. Yeah, it's, it's the view. All right, now you'll see three dark smooth areas in a row. Three dark smooth areas in a row. Three dark smooth Yes, I see that. The middle one is the Sea of Tranquility. That's as big as Oregon. Oh, wow. If you had a picture of Oregon that big, could you see Portland? Uh, I Never would... mind the footprints. <laughs> <laughs> I would think yes. No, you couldn't you see Portland. You couldn't see Portland? No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. That is incredible. Well, <laughs> the ox mark, ox mark for the... the moon's all craters. There's nothing on the moon that's not a crater. That's fabulous. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's part of your goodness. Can you explain how this works? It works fine. <laughs> the, so, the light comes down through here and hits a mirror. I know there's a mirror in here somewhere, but I don't understand. Well, look at the front end. Look down the front end. There's a concave mirror there. The light hits that and then hits this little mirror here and comes out into here. Oh, my God. It's so magical. As I always say, the exterior decorator does lovely work. <laughs> Oh, I needed this right now. <laughs> We're looking at the moon. Come see the moon. Wow, that's incredible. Yes, it is. Thank I look, you. Could I look again? Thank you. Of course you can look again. You, yeah. This isn't like ice cream. You can have as many servings as you want. When is it waxing or waning? When, this, when the bright part is getting fatter, it's waxing. Waxing, okay. When waning. the bright part is getting thinner, it's waning. Okay, waxing. So waning. it waxes from new to full. It wanes from full to new. Truly amazing. Now, the reason you can see the mountains so well is because the sun is shining on one side and not shining on the other side. Uh -huh. Look again, you'll see. The mountains are lit on one side and shady on one side. That's why you can see them. Uh -huh. When the moon is full, you can't see the mountains. <laughs> They're lit on all sides. Oh, my, that's wonderful. <laughs> Never saw this before. Jeez. Well, now you belong to a minority. Oh, <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Come see the moon. Come see the moon. Look, look at the craters. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> what language do you know besides English? Henry? Beijing, the what? Mei Oh, Each other. <laughs> We're looking at the moon at high power. It's all one big crater? No, it's not all one big crater. It's millions of craters. But this one with those big mountains around like that, that crater is big enough to put Texas in the hole. Wow. wow. That is so cool. Only the shady <laughs> side is cool. Look at that. Oh, my God. How can they look at it? You're looking at it. Oh, that's so exciting. The light that's hitting this telescope is how many seconds? Away. One and one third seconds, the light comes from the moon. Something like that. 250,000 miles away? Actually, the separation is zero, you know. Oh, John, <laughs> don't do that. That gets so complicated. No, it's not complicated. More complicated the way you think it is.
because you think something's moving around like that, and nobody ever saw anything doing that. There aren't any photons. But at any rate, the way we usually see it is that the moon's quarter of a million miles out there, and it takes the light one and one third seconds to get here. That's the way we usually see it. That's the way we usually talk about it. But you know what somebody told me the other day? The universe is mostly hydrogen and ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> Come see the moon. Oh my goodness. Now you see that ridge of mountains? Oh uh, yeah. That long ridge of mountains? That's the edge of a crater. The crater is big enough to put Texas in the hole. Oh my goodness. How high are the mountains? Those mountains are as high as the Alps. Really? Yeah. But when they see the moon, they are shocked. The public is so shocked when they see the mountains on the moon. One of the reasons we do this is so that can, people can see beyond their genetic programming. Your genetic programming says, oh, these are clouds, oh, that's blue sky between the clouds, and these are trees, and these are plants, and these are flowers, and these are bees, and these are people, and these are dogs, and these are cats. All those things are covered by your genetic programming. But when you look through the telescope and see the mountains on the moon, damn it all, your gonads shut up. They have nothing to say about it. And they have nothing to say about Saturn's rings. And they have nothing to say about galaxies or any of that stuff you see. So you see, when you let people look through a telescope, they at least have a way of seeing something from a standpoint which they have not had before. These are the main talks. I know we're in Vermont, but they're the main talks. 